Hello, 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 YouTube. Welcome in. You may notice I'm not in the bin today. That's because after I finish this stream, that oh, this essentially what I'm doing is uh the, the help the words they have failed me. This is a good start. <laughs> I'm doing the companion quests and some summons on Honkai and then we're jumping into Genshin. So I just thought we'll just we'll just use this avatar today. <laughs> you YouTube, you might not even see this intro. You might not even see this intro. <laughs> you're doing someone's first just because I need to get ready and leave soon, but if you're doing someone's first, I can wait and see if what you pull. I can do someone's first, yes. I can do someone. Yes, 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 yes. Allow me to jump into the screen. It is very pretty. Also, I don't have many summons available, unfortunately. Interesting. Well, we've got a few, so. Perfectly timed minute of ads. Nice. Apparently the ad break is over though. So um rip. <laughs> Twenty five poles or so, yeah. I'll probably do two two tens and then just try and work up to a third one. And then that'll probably be me it for me. Because I want links, but I'm not too fussed on Fushan. Oh, Fushan. I don't, I don't know how you pronounce it. Fu. <laughs> like, she sounds good. I mean, I care enough to someone. Fight me, Tom. <laughs> I'll lock you in the kitchen again, Tom. Turn all the ovens on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, should we do some summon? Let's do let's do the summon then. Yes, I would like to do a ten summon. <laughs> let's go. Come on, Lynx. Come on, Lynx. <laughs> I'll accept it! My baby girl. <laughs> you busted and convinced she is an abundance character disguised as preservation. <laughs> nice. I'm okay with this. That being the first pull, I'm okay with this. Come on, Lynx. Just want Lynx. <laughs> Come on, Lynx. Lynx! Let's go! <laughs> Alright, and that's been done. Someone. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. If I get bossed on uh, Jade's during the stream, I will summon again, but otherwise, that's me. I want to save up. I don't know who's the next banner, but I want to save up for it. I don't know why. My bones are telling me I should. But hey! We got links. Let's go. Now we have all the landows. Oh, not too far from us. That's not bad. Hell to the yes, brother. Get to put one of these in hook. Early to bed, early to rise. Yeah, that sounds about right. Psychotic explosion master. <laughs> Let's go! Right, lords, there we go! Look at her! You can't follow me all the way around, Lynx! <laughs> we did it! Yay! You often take advice from your bones? I mean, who else am I to trust? 
Silly question. I don't know what stuff she'd prefer though. Well, I do want to enhance it, but slap it in first. Uh, see, I would level her up, but I want to level my main characters up. Big win for your account next banner will be Jing Liu, Wen Fu Girl from Yangqing Story, and Topaz and Nummy. Topaz is the preservation light icon who has white hair. I don't know if I know that icon, I'll have a look. Uh, destruction for hunt for top. Oh, I don't have many hunt. Data bank, I think. Light cone. A light cone with white hair. Obviously not Clara. Oh, this one. This topaz. Oh, oh, she's sick. I'll, I'll add someone for her. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's read these messages. Uh, we'll do marches for. Then she's there. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I am pom pom. <laughs> yeah, you totally look like pom pom. <laughs> But you can't see me. These are text messages. I could have very easily handed my phone to Pompa. <laughs> Something important. I suddenly remember there was one thing that caught my attention during this. Oh yeah, the press the matrix. She wanted to, she wanted to stroke it with her face. Let's ask him. Yeah. You know what, March? I'll be nice to you for once. Because not having your memories would actually suck. Oh god, that guy wants to experiment his tea on me again. <laughs> Send help. I'm gonna have to go get ready. I'll leave Jim on whilst I'm gone, though. Alright. Good luck. Have fun. I'll, I'll see about the sums. I say I need to work up to them. <laughs> I am down some stone. <laughs> Although I do also have to do the... Um, the character test thing. That gets you free, uh, free stone as well. Okay, I should remind the bully says. Well, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? Oh, it's animated. Come on. Oh, no voices though. Good morning. Is work going well today, Master Diviner? I am extremely busy of late. If you have something to ask of me, do not delay. Oh, I'm just like, well, actually, <laughs> since you're busy, I'll fuck off. You were about to say something along the lines of, how did you know I wanted to ask something, but then you remembered to, who you were talking to and decided not to bother, correct? <laughs> yeah, the look on her face says it all, let's be honest. This is not a reliable instrument of divination. On the contrary, I run a dozen hexagrams before I even get around to breakfast. The results are never far wrong. Oh my god. I intentionally take forever. Whoa! What's wrong with Fu? Such sudden violence. Good lord. <laughs> is this what you chose today? You woke up and chose violence? Ha <laughs> ha
Today's divinations threw up some unexpected complications. The hexagrammic position was uh, vacilli vacillating yeah. between the water and heaven's trigrams. The matrix prescience gave the following interpretation. You will have three uninvited guests. This is ultimately auspicious. Three. There's us two. This the third one. Sudden violence is the best kind. I think Doc would agree with you on that. <laughs> Ultimately auspicious. Wow, sounds pretty good to me. Seems like we're really... We're destined to meet today then. You know, I see you've been using the Matrix of Prescience to divine into Kafka's past. Well, I have a similar request. Hmm. I see. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm gonna have a mouthful. <laughs> I should stop trying to eat while there's dialogue that isn't voiced. <laughs> My bad. You wish to use the Matrix to relive the past and awaken parts of your memory. Viable in principle. But whether the Matrix is truly capable of achieving this result remains to be seen. Just because some crackpot says their box of shapes that people would visit today does not mean you are destined to. Says, what have we said about Malmo? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, things are never simple, are they? But with Kafka, Kafka's situation was different. I feel like I must explain in detail the principle behind the Definition Commission's ultimate weapon to avoid. Oh, no, because Kafka said, didn't she? Kafka was like. Elio, Elio, whatever they call him, Elio only told me what I needed to know because they can see what I do know. So if Marge doesn't know her past, then she won't be able to divide it. Ah, I got it. The Definition Commission, an ultimate weapon to avoid. Any misunderstandings. <laughs> the matrix of prescience does not allow one to remember anything. It merely collects data in order to infer past events in the same way that future events are inferred. Just as realm keeping commission officers collect ballistic evidence to recreate the scene of a crime, there are materials from which we can infer the past. These may be items related to the experience or memories of people involved. Miss March's predicament is very different from Kafka's situation because she doesn't remember what happened in her past. I'm no medical professional, but fortunately I'm very fond of reading. We understand that there are two types of memory loss. One where the memories remain dormant, floating around in the unconsciousness, unable to be awakened. And another that involves direct erasure of memories from the brain. Something must have happened when I froze in the ice. I bet the memories were freezing and decided to hibernate. it. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> we don't... Why don't we try using the matrix prescience to determine which situation pertains to Miss March? Let's begin then by preparing the requisite in inference materials. Miss March, your memory is unreliable. To guarantee the matrix's accuracy, you'll have to provide something related to your past experience. Anything will do. When you're ready, come and find me in the matrix court. Interesting. It says total recall. Does that mean she's going to remember everything? Hmm. The game's a bit laggy today for some reason. Or jumpy, I should say. <laughs> They're both nuts! Nice. Or it could be a pawn on a movie title and she's going to become an Arnold Schwarzenegger. Imagine that was the plot twist. <laughs> so have you acquired something from your past? As a nameless Shelley, you must have souvenirs from your journeys that could evoke memories. I've got lots, I just don't... It's just, I don't know what to choose. Ticket stuff from the Express. Ah, proof that I boarded the Express. The conductor gave me this. 
Memories from the Extral Express, that should do the trick. March's unapologetic smile is displayed on the permit. On the note reads, March 7th, level 1 researcher. You vaguely recall that researcher level starts with 2. The only career path this permits opens is one that leads to the bathroom. <laughs> so we got the pass that lets us go literally anywhere in the space station. And she just got the bathroom key card. <laughs> You have the poop pass, yes, the poop pass. <laughs> the circuit I go to the bathroom pass. <laughs> Something related to your work, good. Actually, this won't do. She never really worked there. Uh, Sai, so shiny and pretty. I picked this up this little guy in Bella Bog's Underworld. I mean, it's just little fragments. Why would we return it? I'll just ask if it's safe. One should always ask, sir. True. How could something so beautiful be unsafe? I could understand a young girl's fondness for glittering gemstones. <laughs> We're just like, yo, you're it. One of my fondest memories of the Xianxia. Hmm, no comment. I happen to prefer Star Tarot Bubble Tea. Maybe we should go there then. <laughs> Is that it? Miss March, are you not able to provide possessions from before you lost your memory? Before I lost my memory, so something I don't remember getting. Even then, I couldn't be sure it was from before I lost my memory, right? It may be strange to you, but I infer the past. Any materials that were pertinent at that time, could you try recalling some of your some memories again? From before the memory loss, before the express... I'm sorry, Master Diviner, when Himiko found me in the ice, I, I was stark naked like a newborn baby. I didn't have any items with me. Before you ask, no, I don't have any of that ice lying around. It melted away long, not long after I was rescued. But, but you make that ice. You use that ice in your attacks. Just conjure some up like a wizard. How can something so beautiful be unsafe? Putin's not overwrite danger. True. You have any of the naked lying around? No. <laughs> what about your ice? Oh yeah, guys, you sure are a smart cookie. Thank you. My six-faced ice ability must date from before the memory loss. Master Diviner, any ice I create should do, right? It should indeed. I'll have someone place the material at the base terminal of the Matrix. Miss March, please position yourself in the Matrix core. We may begin our inference whenever you're ready. Moments later, the app uh, apparatus of the Matrix comes to life and clicks on words. It is time. <laughs> oh my. Still feel like the naked would have worked too much. It just strips down. <laughs> oh, she looks so nervous, bless her. The Matrix has cleared diagnostics. Miss March, are you ready yet? Um, I'm pretty sure I should be almost kind of ready to go. Please be prepared. Not all memories are suitable for reawakening. Please carry with them much pain and suffering. People carry with them much pain and suffering. If you're not ready, we can pause the inference process. I would never wish for good intentions to result in harm. I'm okay, let's do it. Only way to find out is to give it a go. Very well, I will soon connect you to the Mix Matrix of Prescience Ultima, where the Matrix will read your memories and guide you back to your past. If you reach a block in your memory, the Matrix will use the data gathered to derive a scenario and construct a possible past for you. Got it. Oh, uh, Saz, can Saz join me too? I'm sorry, that would be highly inadvisable. You form the nexus of the Matrix's inference. That would only introduce redundant data to the system. In other words, inside the memory palace that the Matrix constructs, the only person you'll be able to count on is yourself. You can do it, March. You know what? We'll fill our confidence because this isn't. This is kind of important. <laughs> I can't be mad at you when you're just trying to get your memories back at this point. <laughs> Don't worry, I can communicate with you from the outside the ma from outside the matrix even and manipulate the recollection process to a certain extent. Let's begin. Mm -hmm. Here long life gave birth to eternal memories within which contains endless agony. Here survival instincts condense communal memories within which contains endless sorrows. Here the accumulation of wisdom bred memories of plenty with 
within which contains endless yeah 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 recommended level 76 <laughs> team must include food what why don't oh okay you're gonna give me her thank you <laughs> i appreciate that <laughs> my team isn't exactly the right level but this should do right this should be okay Don't look back, keep going forward. A good message. Or rather, it's okay to look back. It'd also be a good message. Oosh. The text of Presnius has reconstructed your past. Before you is a space generated from the... Oh, look! <laughs> there I am! Oh, no, Ting Yun! Before she snap! <laughs> Before she, she Thanos snap! Oh, now I am much. I'm all good. Everything seems normal. You have a I am much now. Most individuals feel nauseous after being presented with a dizzying excess of information provided by the Matrix. Genuine! It's the genuine guy! Let's go! <laughs> well, I must be seeing things. Why are there two Fushens here? Your eyes are working just fine. One of the Fushwens is a projection of me which allows us to communicate with each other at all times. The other Fushuen indicates that I existed during this part of your experience. What experience is this? It looks like the healer's market. I was about to say she's about to focus on Ting Yun. <laughs> you're like yes yes mistaken, this must be the time we broke into the alchemy commission really uh, that can't be right i remember there were lots of cloud knights in the plaza well this is just a matrix inference remember distortions are possible although the scale of this distortion is surprising if she wasn't paying attention to the cloud knights probably try communicating with the foosh one you see over there we should hear what the Master Diviner has to say. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Miss Fushuen, is that you? If we want to resolve the Celeron Crisis, we must refine the question. What is- You the are the Master Diviner, just tell the truth. <laughs> I don't think she can interact with anyone else. I think she can only interact with March. Like bamboo on the edge of a knife. I was not paying attention. The fuck did you just say? <laughs> Nobody could have foreseen the catalyzing effect of the Stellaron and the Ambrosial Arbor. Why don't you trust her in the slightest? Said, Blessings bring about misfortune and vice versa. Nature has its own algorithm, and it is precisely when fate wins betwixt blessing and misfortune that I. A master diviner of masterful proportions, am called on to save the people of the La Fu. Likes to toot her own horn. What the heck is she talking about? Master diviner, did you actually say that at the time? I can't remember. It would appear that in Miss March's estimation, I'm somewhat of a. <laughs> it's March's interpretation, okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Any time a time witch takes you into a hallucination and says, I can't give you the answers, ask me. I start to think she might have a Mickey. <laughs> I mean, March agrees, apparently. <laughs> I'm, um... <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I've always seen you as the um, masterful master diviner. <laughs> That's literally what she said. That's what the fake one said. Despite the obvious distortions in this experience, the base materials from which it is composed are taken from your actual memory. There is no falsehood here. In other words, 
your subconscious mind thinks that I talk in tongue twisters. <laughs> maybe, maybe stop trying to sound so complex and uppity when you talk then. March is smart, aren't you? March is so much. Principles you discuss. Forget it. Now is not the time for losing one's temper. You sound like you're losing your temper, though. Let's be honest. Bird experience is distorted. We should focus on filtering out each distortion one by one. Otherwise, we won't be able to trace your memories back any further. Um, this is getting a little complicated. Is there a simpler explanation? <sighs> Draw your bow and fire an arrow at that Fu Shuen. Oh, okay. I should even sound uppity. You chose the wrong enemy. You. <laughs> you don't sound uppity. Would it be quicker if I just did this? I mean, it helped. It definitely helped. I missed Sampo. <laughs> I know he's on my team, but I missed him. It's been a while since we streamed this, as I've missed him. All right, and they're dead. <laughs> well, that freaked me out. I don't like people suddenly deciding to fight me. Now, let's see who's here. Ting Yun, Welt, General Ching Yuan, and also her. Well, I don't have to fight all of them, right? The Master Diviner was easy peasy, but I don't think I could take General Jing Yuan. You didn't even fight the Diviner, that was just three dudes. <laughs> easy peasy? That's uh, who, who stop. The interference factor creating the distortion here should only have one source. That is, the person present who shouldn't be. Oh, then Jin. So someone and clear them of interference because Jing wasn't here yet exactly my projection will disappear for the moment so as to not cloud your judgment if you can hear my voice then it means I'm watching over you you're the best master diviner <laughs> I hope the best version of me can overwrite the gloriously absurd version that lives in your subconsciousness Yes, Jing you <laughs> unironically March it is Jing. Who could that be? It's him. He wasn't here. <laughs> General, he wasn't you? here yet. <laughs> General? General Jing Yuan. Uh, Jing Yuan. Oh, what's his deal? Who falls asleep standing up anyway? Oh, is that what it is? Subconscious projecting onto the general. <laughs> uh, I remember now. The general wasn't there when we broke into the Alchemy Commission. Looks like we found the source of our distortion. Clear it. March 7th. Uh, yeah. Ah, you scared me. Why'd you wake up so suddenly? Are you not satisfied with your life as it is? Uh, this is... Alright, that's suspicious. I, I'm satisfied. Then why are you obsessing over the past? Uh oh, <laughs> she's about to have a crisis, isn't she? I'll see you off. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know what your thing is. I would use it. Good lord! Should be eaten while I do this. <laughs> Quick. 
Yes, I'm back. <laughs> Nothing major. Uh, a quick divination. Ouch. Oh, ouch. <laughs> I charge extra. I still got it. <laughs> I see through you. The times are changed. Yay. What is you charge extra? Yeah. Oh, it's from Bellbug. He says to betray his customers, he charges extra. <laughs> Sampo is a con man, by the way. <laughs> a really funny, lovable con man. <laughs> Who'd be gone? Wahaha! <clears throat> ah yes, like all con men. Yes. <laughs> this is. It's a bellabog heater. Um, wait a minute. What's a bellabog heater doing at the healer's market? Looks like part of one experience has infiltrated another. A foreign object, so to speak. A foreign object. That sounds like a medical issue. Will it require surgery? You know, funny much. <laughs> I believe the object is a sign of the Matrix purging distortion. It has managed to trace back to another one of your experiences. Make contact with the object. Let's see if we can jump over into that experience. Okay. Whatever you say. charts there are many similar star systems on the cn joe trade routes unfortunately all of them lost contact after the appearance of the antimatter legion yeah bellabog is a kind of snowy doomsday city there are heaters like this all over the place otherwise people wouldn't survive come on master diviner i'll give you a whirlwind tour of bellabog uh, is touching a heater a good idea? This thing is red hot. What if my hand turns extra crispy? It's okay. This is a memory space. If something hasn't injured you in reality, then it cannot injure you in memory. Oh, well, I was never beaten up by Jing Yuan in reality either. Enough of that. Touch it. Uh, hey, don't pull on my hand. I... <laughs> Feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> oh, what the actual? That thing was flaming hot. You said things that never happened to me in reality couldn't happen here. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to be like, yeah, that was a lie. I said that if something hasn't injured you in reality, <laughs> it cannot injure you in memory. I didn't say anything about the sensation of injury. So this is Bellabog. I was expecting it to be cold. Oh, it's freezing. Huh? Master Diviner, aren't you cold? I can't stop shivering. Hmm. Most likely a result of me never having experienced true cold. I'm afraid you'll have to do the shivering by yourself. On the Lofu, you and I have shared experiences. And so I was able oh, to get right. more active assistance. But in Bellabog, you'll have to... Couldn't she just trade out and let me guide her? And get the foreign it was such a... Pre Technically, I said you can't die. I didn't say that you couldn't spend an eternity writing it, actually. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get it. Oh, 
Miss March, I have one more thing to ask. Have you ever experienced great suffering? Does me dying count? Sometimes people forget extreme memories to protect themselves from suffering. Perhaps you didn't notice, but in your memories of the Lo Fu, everyone you met was either hinting or explicitly stating that you should stop trying to remember. What everyone was? I believe this is I only spoke to Jing Yuan. Was I meant to talk to everyone? Directly. Though, of course. <laughs> How were the answers? You didn't think too much stuff before we started this journey. No. Then we wouldn't have campaign to put like companion quest to go through. To prevent you from recalling the truth. Am I really that important to someone? I don't think there's anyone who'd go to all the trouble of locking up my memories. What if when she woke up, Humiko locked her memories like? This is a troubled child. Well, don't say shit. I want just like look throw away the key. <laughs> I'm serious. Can't out energy right there. <laughs> yeah. And yet, memories are precisely what you seek. No. I like how I laughed at that. I don't know. Mm. I don't know what you mean. Gandalf did Gandalf do that? Probably. I mean, it took them three books to get to a volcano. Guys. <laughs> Are you certain you wish to continue exploring your memories? You said external forces might be messing with my head, right? That just makes me more curious. No one gets away with locking up my memories. Let's go. I'll show you the way to Goethe Hotel. Yeah, in the hotel. What are you talking about? Very well. I must admit that I'm finding the whole matter more interesting by the minute. Oh, so you're having fun. <laughs> I'm shitting on Lord of the Rings. The I'm not shitting on it. I just haven't by seen it. By the second day, we were wanted criminals already. The person present who shouldn't be. Well, I know exactly who that is. <laughs> you. The tea service at Goethe Hotel is first class, especially this whale tide spring. They say that an architect once used the preservation's power to make camellias bloom on the snow plains, and that this tea is made from those leaves an architect use hang on preservation power to make camellias which are flowers march tends to have flower patterns and stuff everywhere and she uses preservation ice powers mm -mm. <laughs> My brain must be filling in the blanks. Probably because I never drank any famous tea in Bellabog. So bitter. Yuck. Bitter tea is good for your health. Ugh. Bitter is bitter. If it tastes like that, it doesn't really matter how good for you it is. There's an old saying in Bellabog. Blessed is he who can eat the bitterest of bitter. These experiences are becoming increasingly distorted. Seems like my subconscious mind has no talent for screenwriting. I'm not sure your conscious mind does either. <laughs> Get fucking wrecked. <laughs> you could equate it to Dumbledore energy if you want, since the transform which basically copied Lord of the Rings anyway. Really? Wait, when? Oh, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't. I don't know anything. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I can't make comparisons to confirm or deny that. So I'm just gonna say yes. <laughs> what do you mean? The seal is the wrong one. March. Long time no see. How's everything been going since you left Bellabog? The Express never looked back. It headed straight for the other end of the galaxy, because that was its fate. The same goes for us. We can't return to the past. March, don't dwell on the past. It won't do you any good. Trust me. Uh, got it? Thanks. The Hunter in the face. Are ongoing. The situation is becoming stranger by the minute. I want to, I want her to remember. I want to know. 
that a similar writing structures? This memory is hard being very subtle about the whole stop look at <laughs> yeah, they're just very upfront with hey, hey, hey. Stop. <laughs> Mostly us being hunted down by Silvermane guards. We didn't meet Dila until way later. Which means Dila <laughs> shouldn't be appearing in this memory. She's the source of the I did kinda want to talk to Japod, because I love Japod. But <laughs> we must eliminate her. Seems like you don't trust me. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just an answer is not required. She's merely a mirage hindering your progress. I understand. Let's do this. Kick her ass! <laughs> I'm okay with it. I don't like Sila. Ooh. New map. Let's go. Eternal sleep is not the end. It came together. And awaken the strength. Heaven search. Break. I'll see you off. <laughs> Hell yeah. What's this? Let me see. Developed on a herd of space station. Sample! Wait, wait, sample! Seems like this must be the foreign <laughs> object. The next experience should be for the first time. Herta Space Station. No, I have to talk to Sampo. I have to talk to Sampo. Welcome to the Sampo Hotel. Miss Marge, long time no see. Welcome to the Sampo Hotel. The Sampo Hotel? This is Goethe Hotel. Was Goethe Hotel. <laughs> now it's the Sampo Hotel. In the autumn of his years, old Goethe got too old to run this place, so he handed it down to his most trusted young <laughs> Sampo Kuski. <laughs> before you get the wrong idea, there was zero trickery involved. This was a cherished agreement between gentlemen. You know what? If this is canon and Sampo legitimately now runs the hotel and it's purely legit because he has sent text messages before to the main character to be like i kind of want to get out of the conning business i want you know it's it's not for me anymore i don't think if this is how he did it 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 <laughs> You see, old Goethe and I chose to face the future instead of clinging to memories of the past. You should do the same, March. No, oh, Sampo, don't start. <laughs> it would just be March's perception of what happened. It better be. If she went back to the planet and this is where he is, I'd be so happy. <laughs> March thought maybe the old dude passed it on to the con man. <laughs> maybe. This blue haired fellow has an air of deceit about him every time he opens his mouth. You would be right. <laughs> Jade Abacus to get a feel for Sampo. Wait, do I need to? Well, he wasn't here, so I guess. No, Sampo, I'll miss you. <laughs> Does that mean there was multiple distortions in the last one? Shame we didn't get to see the stunning vistas of the snow plains. This hotel lobby must have left a deep impression on you. More the fact that we got chased out of it. After a great sleep in a comfy bed to find out you're a wanted criminal, tends to leave a deep impression. Let's move on to the next stop. Uh, I mean, the last stop. Let's go. So long as you're ready. You don't know it's the last one. <laughs> March just. Over a red hot heater any day. Yeah, March, you don't know this is the last one. I'm just gonna put that out there. Buddy old friend up. We have to hurry. Huh? Are we going? What about Miss Fushuen? Fushuen? Who's that? And there's no time for daydreaming. The space station is in crisis. Huh? 
Not Dragon Hun. Asta said that the Stellaron is stored in that room up ahead. And I'm guessing the Legion might also Oh, we finally get to see what they were do what they were doing exactly before they met us. have suffered interference but i don't know where from <sighs> looks like i'll have to do it by myself this time you've got this much i know i usually rip the shit out of you but i you got the god there are so many distortions because it should only just be me back there Yo, she in an anime? You were severely wounded during the battle for Vonwalk. The leader of the rangers encased you in ice to protect you and waited for you to recover. My bow? But Himeko made that for me. You're lying. Clear it. All of these are distortions. All of them. Watch. If you insist on looking back, you'll find nothing but confusion and chaos. You were the last princess. And also the last survivor of the Diamond World had living. The planet was burned to an obsidian hellscape the moment Nanook ascended. Filled with despair. Your parents swaddled... Oh, is she Superman now? ...and placed you into an ice ship. As they watched you sink into the turbulent <laughs> waves of the starscape... This is Superman! <laughs> you found hope. March is Superman. You were found I feel the need to draw this now. Just March and Superman's... Come. Savior, the promise of rebirth. Oh, wait, I wrote that. That's a story I made up about my past. Ah, oh, great. Forget memories. Now everyone gets to see my imagination. I mean, they clearly just can't do anything at the minute, so maybe they can't see shit. March 7th, one of the nameless aboard the Astral Express. After being picked up by Himako, she was freed from the six-phase ice in which she was encased. She lost all memory of the past. Because she had no past to speak of, she was an eon, and eons have no past. From the moment they ascend, the past and future of their existence becomes inundated by their past. March 7th's mistake was the loss of the authority of the eons. Could it be? That never even occurred to me. But I guess it's not impossible. March, please. <sighs> Finally. All done. <laughs> now I better meet up with Fu Xuan if I want to keep going through my memories. I like that I'm just, I'm just like, March, you're nameless. Leave your memories in the past. Why do you insist on returning to them? If they were so important to you, wouldn't you have remembered them? The moment a nameless boards the express, a new life begins. We set out on a new road, never to return. Explore, trailblaze, but do not dwell on the past. And this is legitimately the most main characters ever spoken. The reputation of the nameless. You're not a distortion, you're actually meant to be here. I think. Unless it's- No, because it's in the next room where they find me. Right? Of course I'd seem fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh snap! Let's go, Marge. Let's go. Defensive. Let's let's go. All things in this world have their law. Creation. 
<laughs> no, why would you hit sample? It's so rude. I charge extra. <laughs> I missed him. <laughs> I'll see you off. <laughs> the times are changed. Heaven, sir. Break. More business, eh? Yeah. What? Wait, the forgotten hall lady. Sent out from the space station. We heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. This is the first time we met her, but she isn't here. Who are you? I don't remember you. I am a messenger of the Garden of Recollection, Miss March. Please refrain from looking back upon your past. Leave the matrix of prescience and return to reality. The past is not worth exploring. It will only hurt you. You're the one who needs to leave. I'm not letting this go. The Garden of Recollection? Did the Glow Sweater send you? Are you the one meddling with my observation? What do you want with this girl? No matter the nature of your intentions, stealing others' memories like this, deceiving them, blinding them. I cannot allow that to happen. Hell yeah, let's go! You leave me no choice but to resort to unconventional means. We will beat you. March, this might feel uncomfortable, but I'm going to enter your memory world and help you clear out any obstacles. Hell yeah, let's go, Foo! Don't get complacent. Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead returns! You yeah. Awaken dormant scales. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Equip divination. Converge and awaken. Heavens, rise. Thank you, Mum. <laughs> All things in this world have human creations. Let's settle this. <laughs> Charge extra <laughs> every time. I can't help it. <laughs> Receive divinity, reciprocity, Repay. excellent. No matter, no matter. The strength, all things in this world have human creations. <laughs> Sleep is the dead returns. A quick awakening, dormant skin, world cleansing dragon. The times are changed. Heaven search. Rise. <laughs> We're just having fun. <laughs> We're just having fun. I see through you. We did it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Thanks for your help, 
Miss Fushuen. <laughs> I promised I'd watch over you. Besides, I've been blessed by the Wisdom Walker. I will never tolerate efforts to impede the truth. We only express now. That person said she was a messenger. The Garden of Recollection. Why would they come after me? Many members of the Garden have their own agenda. It's impossible to confirm anything from a cursory introduction. This is the Astro Express, no? It would seem that you're nearing the source. The Matrix of Prescience Ultima should start making further calculations soon. Do you remember where it was exactly that you were discovered? They set the ice down in one of the passenger cars. It ended up being my room. Then let's pass through this carriage and find your room. Do I remember which one her room? Oh, it's going to tell me which one's her room. Nice. Don Hung, let's crack open this ice block. Perhaps we can still save the girl inside. Oh, so Dan Hong was already on the express. I've got this. Pom Pom, go and get the first aid kit. Going, going, gone! <laughs> Pom Pom! This must be when the crew first found me. I don't remember a thing. What's going on? How come we're back at the start? It's the messenger. She's interfering with your movements again. Don't look back. Keep going forward. Don't look back. Keep going forward. Who's telling you this? Keep going forward. The crew are like super worried. It's kind of cute. It's really cute. Sweet. Is the word I think. We're not alone anymore. Wait, what? The interfere has been thwarting your progress this whole time. Maybe the only way for you to find your past is to take a step back. Don't look back. Keep going forward. I get it. If I do the exact opposite, I'll find my way out. As soon as you open this door, oh. the I just skipped the last of that sentence. Start calculating your path. Whenever you're ready. Open the door, March. Uh, is this my room? I didn't get a chance to tidy up. Don't judge. This is your room? That block of ice in the center. Has it always been there? That's fucking tiny. This must be the foreign object. Looks like our exploration has reached its final stage. It's a nice. She said it was a mess, but it looks nice and clean. Nice doesn't matter. Hey, I just. I thought. They, I thought. I didn't think it was the foreign object. I thought it was going to be March in the ice. <laughs> If that was the case, that's a bit too small to fit a march in. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> yes. I'm sure. You got this, March. I know I usually rip you to shreds, but you got this. Master Diviner? She is busy running the Matrix of Prescience Ultima. You again? What I do with my past is none of your business. Why do you have to make things so difficult? <sighs> Please, trust the Garden of Recollection. Everything I'm doing is for your protection. You don't protect people by imprisoning- If you are truly set on learning about your past, then come with me. I'll be finding the figure out. Origin that you seek. I hope that you will refrain from exploring any further than this. Trust me when I say, nothing good can come of it. Oh, I'm so curious. <laughs> there it is. Your origin. Your life unfolds from this point on, full of unique experiences and adventure. What happened prior is meaningless to you. 
The value of your life does not lie in what happened in the past, but in the present and the future. The eagle returns from an unsuccessful hunt. The sailor avoids the course they know to be dangerous. And you, my child, should come to learn that the past is just an illusion. But your experiences now will be remembered for- March is gonna flip her shit. <laughs> it is time to say goodbye. Here, a parting gift for you. I look forward to our next encounter. Oh, wait! Hold on! Aww. God damn it, I wanna know her past, damn you! <laughs> damn you! Just a little lightheaded is all. And the Matrix of Prescian stopped at precisely the same moment. March, I lost sight of you once you touched that block of ice. What happened? It's kinda hard to explain. I like the idea that she's like, I was walking through space somehow, and then the MC's just like, Yo, I did that once. <laughs> of the glow slaver glow slaver you mean fully the remembrance are they the eon connected to my past no it's too early to draw such a conclusion all i can say got out of school and i'm drenched yeah it's been peeing it down it but not when the you don't got that spoke of protection perhaps she meant the following by sealing away your memories the glow swather wasn't attempting to harm you, but to shield you from the memories themselves. It's not so bad. At least I know it has to do with the Garden of Recollection, right? It seems like retrieving memories is beyond the operational spectrum of the Matrix of Prescience Ultima. Uh, that's all right. You've helped me so much already, Master Diviner. I owe you a big one. Mm. If you'll excuse me, I must organize an inspection of the Matrix. <sighs> Fingers crossed there's no damage. I'm in pain as well because someone kicked me then pulled the fire alarm while it was raining. I've been drenching. God damn! Uh, we'll it's these days. Uh, uh, run. If we broke something, there'll be a huge bill to pay. Okay, I'll run. <laughs> rinch, 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 rinch. Oh, and she's a visitor now. Nice. Okay, and then the other one we have before we can run off to Genshin. <laughs> yes, I'm here. Yee, what is it? <laughs> um, you probably guessed. We want to ask for help. Sure, I'm just gonna immediately. Yep. Wait, what do you need? <laughs> can you please come to Bellbog Museum's finishing room? We can have a chat there. Okay. As expected from you, we're gonna wait for you there. Okay. I genuinely have not been to this museum since I finished it. This is this is interesting. <laughs> I find this interesting. March, I've just left you. <laughs> You're gonna have to wait, damn it, March. <laughs> hey, buddies. What is? There's plenty of precious stuff in here. You aren't looking for treasure in the museum while pretending to volunteer, right? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, what's this gadget? I also had a tree branch fall on my leg, so yeah, my limbs are dislocated. God damn it. Automaton remote control terminal? God damn it, Doc. Do I need to start wrapping you up in bubble wrap? <laughs> I'll do it. Let's see, there's this piece of paper here. It says Pena Sergeyevna. Is that the owner's name? Sounds a bit familiar. These are all relics, sis. Please don't touch them. 
What if you break something? <laughs> well, the museum manager is here. If you break something, I'll oh, fucking know about him. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> oh, we were just waiting for you. Long time no see. I wanted to talk about this in our chat group, but Sis won't have it. I'm sorry you had to run all the way out here. Why all the hush hush? Um, that was Serval's idea. She said it needed a level of secrecy. I happened to be helping out at the museum, so we both ended up waiting for you here. Actually, I want to talk to you about our little links. <laughs> oh, that links! <laughs> Oh. Hey, Ramon. <laughs> she just came back from a scientific exploration on the snow plains, but she seems really out of it. Almost like she's worried about something. And she won't tell us what happened. We're really worried and want to help, but we don't know where to start. The last time I saw her, she was preparing to meet someone on the snow plains. She even asked for a stove set from me. <gasps> Sample. <laughs> how Japard and I asked and Sample. Link simply refused to tell us who she was going to meet. Such a failure of a sister. So that's why Japard and I came up with this idea. We'd like you to help us find Oh my god, why English Japard sounds like such a He doesn't sound like a loser. How dare you? <laughs> One more thing. Don't let her discover you. Otherwise, she'll probably get upset with us. I feel like I could just go and hang out with her. Thank you. <laughs> and that'd be and like, worried about her then I would get to, you know. She's used to doing research alone in the snow plains. And we've always believed she can protect herself. But this is different. I'm worried she could run into bad people. He, do he doesn't. He doesn't, Ramon. Oh, You're just me. <laughs> You're gonna go find Linksy. You gotta know what she looks like. Don't worry, she stands out. She's blonde like us, and, um, quite short. She's always wearing a white fur hat. If I'm right, she should be waiting for someone at the city exit, closest to the snow plains. We're putting our dearest baby sister in your hands this time. Let us know immediately if anything happens. Sounds like he can melt steel beams with how hot he is. I'll have to look, uh, listen to him. Thank you. But your English pod also hot. I don't. Doesn't sound like he can melt ice. No, he sounds he sounds like he would cradle an injured bird in his hands, and that is amazing. He sounds like he would nurse an injured animal back to health and be all gentle and stuff and oh my god, so soft. So soft for that idea. <laughs> I wonder if I found her. <laughs> Any luck on Foo? I got links, I haven't gotten Foo. I got links. Links was literally the first thing to pop up on my second poll. <laughs> that must be links. Let's hide here and observe for now. Ella. Linksy, I'm here. Let's go. How did they not know us? <laughs> How did they not know us? I was literally- I, I was in the peripheral for a while then. <laughs> then again, I was- when we were following Luca, we were just- I was just directly behind him the entire fucking time. <laughs> and he still didn't notice me. I want them both, but I wouldn't be sad with just Lynx since I still have Natasha as my only healer. I'm okay with just having links, but I, I literally said at the start after we did the summons, I was like, I'm okay with this. 
if I get enough to do another 10 on stream, I'll do it at the end. Otherwise, I'll probably just save up for the next banner. Because <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind not having Fu, to be honest. She seemed alright, but... You know. She sounds cute. Right. The guide says we should find a flat, dry, sheltered location facing the sun at high elevation. Oh, you remembered all that? I expected no less from you. But it's gonna be hard finding a place that fits those criteria. Well, we'll just keep moving and see. The place has to be convenient enough for us to observe the aurora too. Oh, they're just gonna look at the stars. Oh, they're so cute. You, I'm gonna follow right behind you. That's so Land, cute. Dry, sheltered, facing the sun, high elevation. You'll need to be able to observe the aurora. No, it's not. Let's go up to where Kakolia died. This slope has a good view. It'll be easy to watch the aurora. Hmm. Nope. Oh, the wind blows strongly through here, and there are signs of direwolf activity. It'd be too dangerous to make camp. She has a scythe. Why is it the cute ones that always get the scythes? Is that tro Is that the trope? Oh, it's a pi ice pick. <laughs> That's cute. They're just besties going to hang out. Oh, no. I wish they sounded more mature. They're supposed to be like 30 or something. Are they? But no, because Lynx is the little sister of Japard and Saval. Saval's like 30s, 40s maybe. Japard's definitely in his 20s or something. So it makes sense that she's like... 18, 19, or oh, early 20s. Flat, dry, sheltered, facing the sun. I... Mm. Yeah, but Pillow went to school with Kakolian as well. Yeah, but people can have high pitched voices just naturally. You don't have to be, you know. All deep and stuff because of the age. Um, there are cliffs all around. Oh, we'll be in trouble if there's a landslide or a rock fall. Also, there isn't much of a view. Ah, oh, I remember a good place that's not too far from here. Follow me. Huh? Okay. Take her to Kokolia's thingy, please. That'd be so funny. I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> uh, We're at a dead end. We gotta climb. Boincy, are you sure this is the place? Hmm. Yep. This is the path to Candor Valley. There are low cliffs on both sides, but I cleared all the monsters here a while ago, so it should be safe and sound. Also, the mountain wind during this season usually comes from the north. Which is another reason why we couldn't camp on that previous slope. These 
two health can block the snow plane scale for us. I never even noticed. Huh. Camping is a complicated science. I don't know, characters like these totally give those pandering to lollicons vibes with the whole she might look like a kid, but don't worry, she's legal bullshit. I I don't know, man. I'm just taking they're cute. The environment outside I like them. very tough. Does this that's enough for me. I'm not gonna complain that it's like pandering to a specific, you know, audience. You know, if the weather here was if that were the case, I wouldn't be playing these games because a lot of the female characters. I mean, just, just, yeah, just no. <laughs> like I wouldn't play Impact Third. You know how they've got like nothing on. They might as well just have nothing on. <laughs> Either make them teens or make them act like adults. Don't just be like, they're totally 30. But the, see, that's the thing. One For one, I don't think Lynx is. And two, again, you're doing that based on the voices. Or like the quote-unquote maturity. You can be 30 and a fucking child. Like, childlike mind. You know what I mean? Like, you just like, you just got a childlike wonder to you. You know what I mean? Like, it's not immaturity. Tom, hi! <laughs> it's not immaturity. It's just, you know, I'm 33, I'm fucking drunk. <laughs> Mood? <laughs> Except I'm not 20, uh, 33, but you know. <laughs> I also have a really childish mind. <laughs> All I'm saying is you can't judge someone based on their voice. Or like... I guess the the way they act more that I I don't know how to word it like I feel it's unfair to judge the characters based on the fact that the creators have gone oh they're this age but you personally don't feel like they should be that age like that's not very you know what I mean like that's kind of not fair Worked with a patient on the phone who was 17 and 76 and sounded 12. Yeah, exactly. The people can be any age and sound any age. <laughs> it's not necessarily a... And I'm not trying to say this to, like, attack you or anything. I'm just trying to help you understand that it's not necessarily a, like, bad thing. Oh, we're aiming for these cameras. Like, they, they found it that fit the sound like the voice that they thought this character would have in English that doesn't mean you know it's the movement the whole thing one thing to be childish totally different to move like a child and have mannerisms a child when you're pretty old is it is it though you don't know what's going on with these characters they could be they could have uh they could have autism a lot of autistic people or people with mental health problems will act way younger than they are. And that's not a bad thing. It just means that they're going to experience things different and not, or maybe not understand things or anything. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that everyone like that. Does. You could just be childish. But like, you know, but like I said, it's not a bad thing. To be like that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know the reasoning why Hoyo d d does anything. But I'm not about to be like, oh yeah, this is for the lollies. You know what I mean? Like, oh. <laughs> it might be, but it might not be. Thanks, Daz. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. You could just be child. <laughs> be honest, the Chinese company won't be making autistic characters. You don't know that. You don't know that. So far, they've been very uh, out there with their characters, so I, I wouldn't put it past them. That's true. I hope that becomes a reality one day. Why is why did that sentence fit so well with what I just said? Hello, <laughs> you're not meant to be listening to me. Shh. <laughs> hmm. Only problem is, the view here isn't great. Are you sure we'll be able to watch the Aurora? <laughs> Don't worry about that for now. Let's get the tent ready, then go find our dinner. Sure, 
I can help out with the tent. I memorized that section in the camping guide. Okay, then I'll go set up the stove. Oh, if you have any questions, just ask me. So she's teaching Pela how to camp, essentially. You could, you could ask the person following behind you. I wonder if I can spot her. Stell! <laughs> Stell, you in this house, Stell? <laughs> you behind it? Shit! Stell's really good at hiding, good lord. <laughs> Up on the cliff, we just see, just see a head poking out. Lay down there, so... <laughs> That was a heater, that wasn't a stuff. Sure, let me take a look. Hmm. The geomero fuel activation component probably stopped working. Do you have a spare one? No. Uh, Sir Ball told me this was a brand new stove. Hmm. Can I bring along stove? Does this mean we have to make a fire with geomero? I specifically got this stove from Sir Ball. That's okay. These components are really common. Maybe we can find a spare one in the ruins around here. You take it easy. I'll see if I can find one. Oh, and I'll keep an eye out for food, too. Uh, I'll come with you. Finding food is easy, but finding that component is gonna be hard. We'll do our best. If we can't find one, we'll just do what your guide says and chop wood to make a fire. There might be spare stove parts in the ruin. Let me see. Oh, don't tell me you want to crawl in there. Of course I do. It's not like the stuff we need is going to come crawling out. Uh, I mean, that's a good point. In that case, be careful. <sighs> uh, did you find anything? I didn't find any components, but I got this. I don't know if we can still eat it. Mm -hmm. It hasn't decayed. <laughs> it's edible. Really? Huh. It's all thanks to the Eternal Freeze. We can eat raw fish from 700 years ago. 700? Wait, seriously? That's... I feel like that's kind of dangerous. Maybe don't do that. <laughs> Maybe don't do that, guys. I don't want to eat the slugs. They're too cute. <laughs> slugs are cute. I don't want to eat slugs. Sample is in here. Help me. There's something in the snowdrift. Huh? I can do the digging. You don't need 
too? Come on, camping is about teamwork. Let me have a try. Please be Sampo. I will, I will scream. Eat them and be happy about it. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I found something. Is this a radish? Ah, yep. That's a snow radish. They're really sweet and tasty. Uh, actually, no. This is a hibernating snow radish rabbit. Huh? This is a rabbit? Yep. They look really similar to snow radishes. As their ears look like the leaves and their- That sounds super cute. Can I see it? When they hibernate, they cover themselves with dirt, just like real radishes. My uncle saw me in bad mood and got me a pack of stuff. <laughs> Best uncle. <laughs> in that case, please tell me we can put it back. Yeah, it's better for the Snow Plains ecosystem. You can already see it if you eat the slugs. No. Then I will not see it. No, 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 you can't see me. You don't see me. Aha, fuck you. <laughs> this crate looks promising. Maybe there are spare stove components inside. Oh, well, let's open it up then. Uh, no, no, uh, uh, don't worry about it, Linksy. I'll manage. Ah. Oh. Uh, are these sausages? Sure looks like it. And they were probably placed here not long ago. Could it be Bellabog Caveman's food? B Bellabog Caveman? Oh, it's a legendary creature. It looks like something between a man and a monkey, but roughly the same size as a man with dark blue hair. Activities are... Very mysterious, and no one in Bellabog can find concrete- It's got blue hair, you say? I, d I only wonder who this could be. <laughs> I wonder. I chance upon it a few times myself. Whenever I tried to take a photo of it, but it had already run away. Oh, I feel like these sausages might constitute a great Bellabogian scientific discovery. Let's bring them back with us. Uh, uh, hold on. There are some letters here. Sam something post something. <laughs> yeah, there it is. I can't read the rest, but it seems like a name. Also, is that the hint? Is that is that confirmation that Sam is Sampo? Huh? 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 Look. Sam. <laughs> Guess it can't be the Bellabog Caveman then. Is that is that a subtle not so subtle hint? Ah, don't worry, Linksy. I'm sure you'll Are you winning says Yeah. Yes I am. <laughs> I am Mega Hayden. Let's leave the sausages here. I think someone might be missing them if we take them. <laughs> His name is Sampo. <laughs> oh I'm Pilla, I think we've searched through everything here. Let's head back, Pela. <sighs> okay. I feel bad that we didn't find a spare component. Oh, it's fine. We'll just light a fire with Geomero. Let's go back and have some food. Wait, I have a feeling they're gonna get back and Stealth fix the machine. <laughs> Sample will be part of a different organization. Pretty sure that was leaked a while ago. No, I'm I'm convinced. I'm convinced that he is different organization from Bellabog. Could that mean... Celeron Hunter. <laughs> Alright, but how are you? I'm good, man. Pilla? Hmm? What's up? We don't really need that stove to cook. I know, but since we're looking for food, I figured we might as well try to fix the stove. Might as well go. Still part of the tavern crew? Tavern crew? I feel like you've mentioned that and I've just completely forgotten, but please explain.
That was kind of cute. Alright. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You gotta stop the bleeding. I'm just gonna do this. I don't think we're fighting anyone else. Heaven of Aha. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. I could see that as well. He does say aha when he throws his knives. Sometimes. You've already had this conversation. Don't really Why do they keep doing that? That's weird. I know, but since we're looking for food, I figured we might as well try to fix this. Uh, is it some kind of animal? Linksy, wait! That thing in the camp is a dangerous fragmentum creature. Mm, I see it too, but it doesn't seem aggressive. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Cute. Don't be fooled by its appearance. About 20% of our silver main guard fragmentum losses are a result of chasing this creature. We haven't figured out everything about it yet, but there's one thing we're sure of. They have the power to control people. We need to be careful. What? But, but this little buddy gave me something good last time, and it didn't hurt me. That must be the first step in their mind control process. You were lucky. We should defeat it just to be safe. Fragmentum creatures are Bellabog's enemies. They shouldn't be trusted. No, but... Hmm? Why didn't even get to take a photo of it last time? Now's a good chance. Can I at least take a picture, Pela? That's also my job as a researcher. I understand, but the sound of the shutter and the camera bolt might set it into a frenzy. Uh, it... Notice us? <laughs> it might be looking for an opportunity to attack. Be careful. No, it's sniffing your food, probably. Cute. Picture. It disappeared. Linksy, be on the lookout for an ambush. Oh, don't worry, Pela. That's the nature of these little things. They disappear in a flash when they get scared. Well, that's my conclusion from my long term observations. As for those lost guards, maybe they were chasing these little creatures and couldn't find their way back. Ah. Uh... Sorry, maybe I was overreacting. I like to say, kick the baby, or in this case, kick the trotter. <laughs> Don't be sorry. It pays to be careful. I really like Lynx's design. It's so cute. We can now make some food. What? Uh, our little buddy seems to have dropped something. Geomero activation component. I never thought we'd find one here. It helped you out. Like you, Linksy. Did you find anything good? Uh, uh, nothing. Just some old stuff. It's it's great we finally found the component. Let's go fix the stove. Huh? Linksy, is something the matter? Nope. Nope. Uh, that's all your imagination. Oh. Uh. Why don't you take a break? Hmm, but anyway, Sam Paul definitely isn't Sam. We've seen Sam already. That doesn't mean he's not. <laughs> I want to save for Jingwei, but I really want Lynx now. To be fair, Lynx is only a purple, so you've got a higher chance of getting Lynx than, you know. So you could build up your pity by trying to get Lynx. Sam isn't even human. That doesn't mean that he can't disguise himself as one. Technology is clearly advanced in this civilization. <laughs> oh. Oh, 
Oh. I want to go over the top of them. Okay. Look! Then? Look! I'm not saying I'll be right. Because I probably would be. But if I am right, I proved you wrong. <laughs> you know, like, legitimately, like... It's not impossible for them to disguise themselves. I mean, that Fantilia literally disguised herself as Ting Yun for a good few months, if not years. <laughs> we have literal evidence that this is po a possibility in this universe. Oh, what is this magic? I couldn't figure out the problem at all. No magic here. I want to hug all of the stellar <laughs> I mean, hug is the hug is the least. Of the... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yep, that's her. Uh, I want to play games with Silver Wolf. She'd kick my ass, but I reckon it'd be a fun time, you know. Not, not in that sense. Yeah, not in that sense. I legitimately mean like we'd have fun playing games. It's. Uh, oh, nothing. Okay. Outdoor explorer, mechanic, they're both experts in their field, right? I think you two are awesome. Anyway, it wouldn't be hard for you to get her to teach you something. You're her sister. She'd be happy to teach you. <laughs> well, you say that, but, uh, yeah, never mind. It's getting late. Let's cook something. Yay! That's my favorite part! Wait, no. My favorite part is watching the Aurora. Well, anyways, let's take a look at what ingredients we have. Every ingredient has its own effect, and combining them will create unexpected results. Is she, is she experimenting on pillar? What kind of effects are they going to make? Hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> the is that Sampo is, like Dark said, a member of the Masked Force, a follower of our heart. That would make sense as well. But I'm... I'm... <laughs> I want to be. I'm so convinced that he's Sam the Stellaron Hunter. <laughs> it's one or the other in my head. There's no in between. Uh, raw fish from 700 years ago and some cute mimic snow slugs. I don't think either is. Edible. Oh, don't worry. We'll make them into a hot pot. Just add cream, biscuit crumbs, and the canned sardines I brought. You're putting canned sardines into a hot pot? Please don't say that. Oh, well then, this will be the main course for tonight. I'll show you what I can do as a chef. Ah, um, she's the kind that cooks. Why don't I cook tonight? You can take her she's the kind that cooks random shit. <laughs> We have met a member of the Mast Force before and I love their vibe. Have we? You're, go you're going now? Alright, Baramon! Have a good time. <laughs> oh, come on, it's fine. Just leave it to me. Watch it actually taste nice, though. The super delicious snow plants combo stew is ready. <sighs> it smells so good. I'm gonna dig in. One of those Yun Xiao quests. Oh, is it? I don't remember. You'll manage amazing energy as you enjoy a meal with your fellow campers. I'm so <laughs> Stealth, please. <sighs> Guess now we just wait for the light show. The Aurora should start soon. Before that, let's just chat. Pela. Why did you suddenly want to come camping? Huh? Well, aren't you always saying how you just want to lie in bed when you get off work? Ah, sorry. I hope this trip didn't surprise you. No, no. I mean, sure, I'm not the most sociable of people, but I love camping with a good friend. I had a great time. It's been a lot of fun. So cute. Hmm. 
know, you're always like this. Even on this camping trip, you keep trying to do things. But you really don't need to. Just leave it to me. Camping is about relaxing. No need to be so tense. I know. It's just, I was really getting into the camping. I felt like I finally got around to doing the things I always wanted to. <laughs> so all those comics you drew for the Tales series didn't count? Uh, I have to hide those from other people. I get a little embarrassed. <laughs> Stell jumps out from behind the tent. Embarrassed, but those are awesome! <laughs> it's the Shinjo quest to do with the unchained followers of the... Oh, okay. They are really cute. They are. I suppose. I wish I could be more like you. Oh, I... I'm not as cool as you think. <laughs> I don't know how to handle my brother and sister. They keep treating me as a kid. Like, they're both really capable and awesome people. Which is why I feel really pressured when I'm with them. <sighs> I'm already a grown-up. I have the capacity to do what I want to do. Why can't they just stop worrying and let me do what I want? Because they're always going to worry you. They're your family, dumbass. shouldn't talk about this. I was getting carried away. It's okay. It's not like I even know what she looked like. So, when's the Aurora due? <laughs> Awkward. <sighs> Careful, Lynx! There are monsters coming! <laughs> yes, yeah, Stell, join the campfire. Let's go. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm always around. Oh, they, they made Stell the bat version. Interesting. That means I can't give shields though. Damn you. <laughs> we haven't seen that in a while to be fair, so that's Yeah. It's not really so protect the kids. Protect my friends, Molly, I think. Neither of them are kids. <laughs> Even though I don't need to do it. It looks sick! Let's go! <laughs> oh, I was really hoping to finish it with links. <laughs> Behind the tent. Pale, who is this? Um, this is the Trailblazer, the savior of Bellabog. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, thanks for saving us. Uh, not to mention Bellabog. Well, so, what's a big hero like you doing? Do I get to lie to them? Because I kind of want to lie to them. You know what? Nah, I'll be truthful. Like this. It's impossible to 
get some private time as their younger sister. Then why did you still come here? <clears throat> all right, all right. It's all because Serval and Japard are worrywarts. Besides, you did save us. Well, since you followed us all the way here, you probably know why we're out camping today. So stay and watch the Aurora with us. Hell yeah! It's about Let's go. time for it to appear. Hey, Khaleesi! Look! <sighs> Come this way. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, that is real pretty. I'm kind of sad Stella isn't in this picture, but it's very, very pretty. Hell yeah. We're really lucky to see it. Yeah. Really lucky. Still, still sad to still wasn't in the picture. But hey. That was still a very pretty picture. So awesome! I got to taste Lindsay's cooking and see the Aurora. This snow plains adventure was the best. You look really happy. Huh? Me? Uh, <clears throat> I'm not that happy. I, uh, what I mean is. Uh... Yeah, go for it, Kayla. I. <sighs> it was a great experience. Thanks to you, Linksy. Not to mention you. Anyway, what now? Those two got underlying feelings, I swear to God. <laughs> Maybe? I like them just being friends, if I'm honest. Them as besties is alright with me. <laughs> we can. I heard a pretty good steak place opened up in the south of the administrative district. We can go try it out together. <laughs> Sounds good. That's settled then. Let's part ways for now and rendezvous later tonight. Okay. Pela, hold on. Hmm? What's up? This is for you. What is this? I found this on the ground before I fixed the stove. I guess that fragmentum creature dropped it. I think it might be best if you check it out yourself. Anya Sergeyevna. I see. Thank you. Oh, was that her mom? Let's meet up here later tonight. I better get going. Is that why Saval was like, I recognize that name. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Lucky for you, we're both here. Yeah. <laughs> you guys need to stop being worry warts is essentially what I'm going to try and tell them. We <laughs> literally just guys on the fuck now. <laughs> Give your sister some space. How oh, damn. You know what I mean. And I don't know what you mean. Expedition, it's always a challenge to make time with links. But why doesn't she want to talk to us? Uh-huh. Calm down. We've got her to help us. This is they're just, they're just like, we want to spend time with our sister, we want the sisters like, you guys are too cool, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not needed here. <laughs> Aww. Guys just communicate, god damn. <laughs> we were just talking about you. Yeah, I heard. How was it? With Lynx? Yep. <laughs> so, that stranger was Pela. What can I say? Sounds like a lynxy expedition, all right. No way. As long as Lynxie can protect herself, I'll be supportive in all her ventures. You need to tell her that, not me. Serval is right. This time, this was Lynx's own choice. We won't be upset with her. But exploring the snow plains is still quite dangerous. All right, all right, calm down. She'll be able to look after herself. 
Thank you for being around for this. Japard was too anxious to sleep. Oh. I. Sis, you're exaggerating. Oh, that's so cute. As for how we'll communicate with Linksy in the future, we'll have to have a good think about it. You really helped us a lot this time. Thank you so much. Aww. Can I go have to stick now? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going! I'm going! <laughs> Okay, to the museum! Did you know I'm technically co-owner of this museum? <laughs> Let me in! Let me in! What's it with you guys and hanging out in the back room? Good lord. Oh, oh, okay. Mm. You're here too. Oh. Then yep. let's wait for Pela together. She's in the storage room. I think she's looking over the contents of that flash drive. Let's give her some time. <sighs> I'm guessing you don't know about Pela's mother, right? Correct. Pena Sergeyevna was Belobog's greatest outdoor explorer. Passed away 16 years ago. The exploration team belonged to the Silvermane Guards at the time, so they had authorization. Anyway, mm -hmm. well, something else happened 16 years ago. Pela was born. Ramon's lied to me now. <laughs> yes. They say that despite her pregnancy, Madame Pena. So Pela is 16. Well, that explains everything. She couldn't go to the front lines. But she was able to handle administrative duties. So where did so where did the idea that Pela is 30 come from? So these two are the same age, then. Probably. Meaning I was right, Saval's like in her 30s and Bard's probably in his 20s, or Saval's in her late 20s, he's in her early 20s. Then, finally, the day of Pela's birth arrived. Tragically, there were complications. Other serious incidents occurred that day. The exploration team ran into a blizzard and the camp lost contact with the outside world. Um, I feel like we should have done marches first. <laughs> I have not done this one first and marches last. Marches was a bit more jovial. The only good thing only a bit, but you know. Was that Pela was born healthy. Ugh. The flash drive. If the old research team members were telling the truth, it was something Madame Pena left behind. Ah. <sighs> Madam Pena asked a colleague to take her terminal and flash drive back to Bellabog. She said they contained a treasure for Pela. She said that once Pela was older, she'd be able to understand the contents. <sighs> but that colleague was attacked by fragmentum creatures on his way Ooh. back to the city. Okay, this got this got oof. Thank you for the stretch and the hydrate. Hello Johnny, how are you? During the attack, he dropped the flash drive in confusion, only managing to bring back the terminal. Apart from Madame Pena, nobody knew what the flash drive contained. But they say she left Pela many letters. I was waiting for teardrops to fall on the phone. From the moment she knew she was pregnant, the day of Pela's birth. 
Um. Never missing a day. Oh, okay, yeah, she is crying now. Oh, not naughty sounds anymore. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. There's somewhere I want to go. Will you come too? Absolutely. I'll wait for you there. We're gonna go do this while Phyllis is. Sobbing to herself, understandably sobbing to herself, but we're gonna go while she's sobbing to herself. I want to check one thing actually, because you can sometimes see like characters doing like doing their volunteer work. I kind of want to see who. Oh, Ronya, <laughs> you're meant to be at the workshop. The fuck are you doing here? <laughs> you bodge psychopath. <laughs> I just wanted to see who was on duty today. Because apparently it's different every day, right? Or is it always the same people? Although I will say I usually get different people run wandering around, so maybe it is different people every day. I don't know. I don't know and I don't know. Poor Pil yeah, poor Pila, man. I still want to know where Ramon got the idea that she's 30 from. <laughs> maybe... No, because I'm pretty sure it was mentioned they were in the same school, but maybe it was a case of Kokolia and Saval were like seniors and Taylor had just started. Do you know what I mean? Oh. Saval, Jepard. <clears throat> I'm back. Lynx, you're finally back. What's with the red eyes? Did something happen? Japard? You make it obvious. Welcome home, Linksy. Mm. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Seems like a lot went down in the snow plains. Thanks again for your help. I think we need a little private time. See you soon. Lynx asked me to come though. Some time together. I'll just stand outside the door and be like, I'm not hearing anything, la 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 la. And Ramon just had issues with some stuff. Yeah, Ramon seemed to have a lot of issues with Taylor just existing. Maybe Lynx existing as well. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, Taylor has sent me some messages. So it's March, we'll do Taylor because we've just finished that. What's up? Back then, at the museum, you heard everything, right? I heard it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. No, <laughs> crying pom 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 I knew it. Never mind. It's actually nothing. No, that's a lie. <laughs> I was very happy when I went out camping on that day. Thank you. You're welcome. No need to be so polite. Let's have it together when you're free and don't forget about the supper. Okay. It's a promise. Oh, that's cute. As for supper, I would like some time to fuck myself today, actually. Let's go next time. That's understandable. Have a good night. Come to my room. I found something amazing. What is it? What is it? You'll know when you're here. Hurry. Okay. Wait. Okay, I guess I'm going to March's room. Okay. Interesting. Off we go. <laughs> Off we pop. <laughs> Definitely a peanut. Oh no! Oh hey, Lynx is here. You got here quick. Can't see Polybog all from here. I can hardly even see Mount Zarathustra Zapala Iskandra. What? <laughs> yeah, was Zarathustra what do? Zarathustra Zapala Iskandra. It's the tallest mountain we know of on the planet. Before I boarded the express, I thought Bellabog and the Snow Plains were the entire world. I didn't think reality would surpass my imagination this much. 
<laughs> Never stop exploring. Right. Once I've discovered all the secrets on this planet, I'll go with you to head deeper into the universe. Hell yeah, join us on the express. Time comes, okay? Hell yeah, you, I mean, your sister already wants to join, so this is okay. Also, the fact that there's a lot of water here. That's not icy. It looks like a lot of this ice and snow is actually melting now. That's kind of sick that it's got actual progression. You know what I mean? What? Alright, right. Marty's room. Where am I going? Just face plant the door, don't worry about it. <laughs> Which one's Marty's room in him? No. This is Star's lab. Was coffee coming from the orchestra? So that's probably in the cause. All right. Was it for? The she was trying to go down here, but was it not? Oh, this is Marty's room. The, and this is Dan Hong's room. Is this? Oh, this is the bookshelf. That's the archive. Right, 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 right. Not me stealing from the archive. Don't worry about it. Anyway. Does that mean me and Dan Hong sleep at, right in the back? Um, how do you have a picture of that? March, how do you have a picture of that? <laughs> You weren't there when Lorcha walked into that place. How do you have it? What? I just found this in my pocket. How did it get there? Where is it? Looks like a light cone. Didn't that weird voice in the Matrix say something about a parting gift? Oh, is this a light cone specifically for March? My origin, huh? I don't know why, but the voice sounded friendly to me. Well. Guess I'll keep it then. Jumping through all those hoops in the Matrix was pretty exhausting. But this little gift makes me feel like it was worth it. I'll have to find time to thank Miss Fu Xuan properly. I really owe her one. Oh, she has... Legitimately, she has pictures of things she wasn't there for. <laughs> March's origin. I wonder if that is legitimately by a like one for her. Let's have a look. Might as well just do it from the screen. Where is it? 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 I'm blind. Where is it? <laughs> Am I blind? Is it only for is does it only show up if you go in it in marches? Is that it? Or is it not a proper light gun that you can equip? Maybe. Maybe it's it seems that way. It seems like it might genuinely be a light gun that you can't equip. Which would mean, is it in my inventory then? Yep, there it is. Mission item. Okay, maybe it'll become a usable light cone when she awakens, because I'm assuming there's going to be an awakening for her like there was for Dan Hong. That looks delicious. <laughs> right, uh, what was the thing travel log? That was it. Because I haven't done the showcase. Ah. I don't need to know this stuff. I'm sure it'll be fine.
I don't care. I'll do it anyway. You can't beat me. It does look kind of sick, but I don't. A thousand wonders to rain and fight as one. Rules are made to be broken. Morting you. We're in trouble now. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Yeah. Welcome, customers. <laughs> And wonders to raise your spirit and fight as one. Stop the bleeding. Rules are made to be broken. To travel far away. Let's go. She's a really good healer. I'm gonna have to build her up real good. Yeah, I'll have, I'm gonna have to build links up. Hello, Hook. <laughs> Hello. The psychotic giggle as she launches at her enemies. <laughs> I love her so much. <laughs> and then another... They keep doing trials with Paler. Pretty sure this is like the fifth, fourth or fifth one. What was that? that was Paler. <laughs> That's a Paler round in the corner to fuck you up. <laughs> I'd like to get rid of this one first. <laughs> it's going to be a pain in the butt with its shield thing.
is our chance. Yeah. Fighting is meaningless. It's been a while since we've seen his base one. The question is, uh, do I have enough? Oh, I have enough for a wall up. Okay, we'll do another wall up, and then that'll be it. Another copy of links would be great. <laughs> I can't trust it just being purple. We have to actually see- Oh! I don't have this! I don't actually have this light gun, so that's- that's actually really good. And- Oh, the blinks, let's go! <laughs> Unironically, getting this is- Probably perfect for her as well. <laughs> Wait, let me, let me, let me, let me go, let me go see if I'm right about that. Cause like, I know she's in this one, but. Energy regeneration rate by 8% and increases outgoing healing when they use the ultimate by 12%. And then this one's increase the max HP by 16% when using basic attack, attack or skill restores all allies HP amount equal to 2% of the respective match HP. Hmm, <sighs> what would genuinely be better? I th I'm thinking this one. This one will probably be better, right? Well, god damn, dude. Apparently e, uh, E2 is freaking amazing. Yeah, because it uh, adds resist to debuff or debuffs them, I guess. So I might, I might try and go for that. Yeah, for right now. We have links. We have this cutie patootie. <laughs> cutie patootie. <laughs> I don't know why I said it that way. We are this cutie. Uh, YouTube. This is where I cut you off. So that we can do what I planned today and go on Genshin. <laughs> At least for a little bit. But yes. YouTube. I hope you had fun. I know it was a bit more chill than usual, but hey, that's fine. You enjoy that drink, Lynx. You deserved it. <laughs> All right, YouTube. Have you had fun? I know I did. Um, we'll see you in the next one, which will be whenever they update this again. <laughs> Refreshing. Yep. <laughs> bye, YouTube. Bye, 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 bye.